Hello and welcome to Earlsdown Junction on Rolling Line, available on Steam. The best game I've ever played for a long time. And as you can see I've just missed the train, so I'll have to wait for the next one. And as luck would happen, they run quite regular on this layout, on this railway. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a quick update on the layout. Rather than just fly across, I thought I'd wait for the train and have a quick train ride. Now when I jump on the train, I normally cut that scene straight to where I'm sat on the seat. I'm not going to do that this time, because when you press spacebar to go to miniature, you're actually in the cab of the loco. So you have to actually walk back to get in the seat. Here's the train, Arriva, or Arriva trains, going to Van Key Station. But in reality that's where it goes. On this layout I'll actually be going round and going down a track that it wouldn't be running down, the Lake Manchester Liverpool line at Newton Willow station. But never mind. In real life I've done this journey many, many times over the years. Lived in Earlstown and Wargrave all my life. But we've done this right to Banky Station before I had a car anyway. Sometimes we're in the car. Still go on the train now and again. But I've done this ride many, many times from me, a young child and my friends going to Wellington. Going with my children since my babies, taking them round the shops. Going to the odd trip to McDonald's in Wellington. And because this uh, particular loop area of the layout is quite short, I put a wait sign for the trains. I've only got two trains running on this loop. I think I'll leave them for 15 seconds, just so they're not going around too quickly. As you can see, the new section over there. Newton Middle Station, or Newton Station, as it used to be known years ago, Newton Bridge Station. Now, today there is like a new ticket area, lifts, but I've set it, kind of set it 1990 to 2010, but there are some new, more modern areas, like some of the shops are as they are now, because I couldn't remember what there was years ago. Some of the buildings are as they would have been 10, 15, 20 years ago. There's the station. Quite pleased with the way that turned out. Oh, a bit fast. Done this quite a few times at Newton Station. Lots of trains coming and going over the four arch viaduct, Newton viaduct. I love that station. Earlstown Station is still my favourite, but I do love Newton Station now. Since I've built it, it's going to bring me appreciation now. Went there a few times, had a walk around, took a few pictures for the, so I could get the build as close as I could get it. Within reason. There's the subway. I said this area there now has got all, the car park's gone, it's all like ticket office and lifts. All the garages have gone, that's now the car park, which is a lot bigger than the old car park. Just another quick look over the viaduct. This is Mill Lane. Quite pleased with the viaduct the way it turned out. On the old foot footbridge. I played with the children when we were young there. We used to make paper boats and sail them down Newton Brook. Newton Brook runs from through Dean Dam. Newton Lake. And then eventually goes into Sankey Brook, which then goes into the River Mersey. 
and into the North Sea then. I haven't put all the path in obviously for cut back. There's the path. I think it's got the slopes or the stoops or something. It's no locally known as. Park Road. And the old tunnel. Bridge. Main's part would be on the other side of the obviously I've cut a lot of the scenery out because you got it'd be so long it'd be endlessly building it if it's way too long so i've cut a lot of the uh, lots out just to fit it all in between the stations and i've put done a bit of update on the shops and buildings but uh, old wargrave road flower bowl's gone now that's now being built in made into a house This is the old surgery that I used to go to. It's now a dance club. Carly's office. Used to have a big yard there with a shop selling DIY stuff. It's still in existence. I feel like they still do building work. When I was a youth worker, I ran the Bills Down Boys Club. We had got, I managed to get a loan, uh, a loan. I managed to get some funding, and we got the club. So a lot of work, new windows and things done, new toilet, and the disabled block. And um, Michaelis did the work for us. I thought, just mention. Someone asked me uh, a little bit of advice the other day, so I thought I'd just cover this briefly. When you've set your lights up. Well, no, when you set your stop sign up to stop trains at the station, sometimes they go past, and if you move them just back slightly, they stop way too soon. So set them up where you want them to stop, roughly, at the end of the platform, and then slow your train down with a speed sign. You could slow it down 20, 15, 10. It's a matter of just messing about to you, it right? Setting different speeds, slightly adjusting where your line is, where your stop sign is. But don't forget to put a speed sign to speed your trains back up once you've left the platforms. You'll have to excuse me, I'm shaking a bit today. Parkinson's is playing up this morning. I'm not doing my tablets yet, not, not my second lot. See this one stopped way past, way past the platform. No matter what I did, it just either stopped way before or way after. So I put two speed sounds there, 20 and then 10, as he approached the platform. <clears throat> now, quick word about setting up the lights. This light here covers this single track here. That runs to the fiddle yard. Now, for now, I ignore these two lights for now. I'll explain about them later. Now, I've got three on this side. There's three. Well, there's three on each side. So you can have three trains running on each line. Each one of them by pressing Q and the bolt comes up. Cover them three, cover each track. To the next set of lights. So if a train is parked, it will divert or stop a train. So if you park a train in the middle track, it will divert a train to one of the other tracks if it's empty. Now these signs at the end all cover from there, the fiddle yard, down this single track, or this side of the track, to the light at the station. See I've slowed it down a bit there as well, just so it stops near to the end of the platform. And that covers to that light, and that light will cover to the next one. So I'll speed it back up. I think the actual speed on this track at there is probably 40 or whatever, but I'm just using 35. I don't want the trains running too fast. Just so when I'm in miniature and I'm watching them go past, they don't pass too quickly. Over the nine arches. The old nine arch viaduct. Now that light covers to this light. Now this light will cover to the station light, or signal, whatever you want to call it. So if a train is in the station, it will stop it on that last signal. 
the back. It's just keep going round and doing that until you've done all your tracks. Now I've tried to get trains running down this track here on the right hand side now as we're going up. As well as the inner side, but it wouldn't work. It kept diverting trains. All trains are different trains. Crossing over the points. So I've done it, I've actually locked them for now until I see. I could put loops in for trains to pass, but then it wouldn't be true to what the real railway. And I want to have it as near as I possibly can, within reason of course, to what the real railway is like at New Earlstown Station, Newton and St Helens Junction. So what I've done, stop trains diverting and going up the track where I don't want them to go I use this AI lock painter. Now these points are only manual now, no matter what trains are doing, they will not divert down there. I'll just give you a quick demonstration. Use your edit tool, get the painter. Now that's disabled. Now if a train was coming down there and the train was at the station, it would divert it, obviously not down there because it's, at eight, it's pointing the right, wrong direction to change. But it gives you the idea of what I mean. So make sure you enable that. Enable AI lock. Now that's locked. Don't forget to save your changes. And save on the main board if you make any changes. That's only manual now. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm very, not quite pleased, I'm very pleased the way it's turned out. When I first started, I hadn't got a clue what it was going to do, how I was going to build it. It took a while, and there's still little improvements I can do. Here's Warrington Sidings, which is the track from platform 3 and 4. At 4 and 5, go up to Banquee Station. I just thought I'd add it so there's a bit of interest, so the fiddle yard isn't too bland few trees down. You can actually drive an EWS 67 along the track, pick up some of the trucks. Only the one track's active for now, I don't want it too complicated for this layout. You can pick them up. It's got a disable it's got a decoupler. So if you reverse them back in it will decouple as you pull away. And I'll just explain about these the problem was having is if you lock them with the AI painter. I was forgetting to shut it sometimes and trains were going, change them and the trains were going up there and crashing into the goods shed or engine shed. So I put a light there, one light there to cover the track so if the train was in there it will it will divert it on, back onto the main line. So I unlocked it, tried that, probably had then is it would divert it down to where the track in the middle, where the points go back onto the main line, if you know what I mean. And the other problem I had, if you brought one train out and left the points open, it would divert a, tra a train, a train was in the main line, it would divert a train into the sidings. So what I've done, I've covered, used both signals to cover show you now. Cover both sections of where the, both engines are. The problem then is if you have a train out and you don't swap them points back over, it showed the track is empty and it could possibly divert, it had done once, diverted a train which crashed at the end. So what I've done no matter which train I take out now both tracks are covered with the signal AI signal so I've put two steam small steam um, locos there so the track has permanently got two trains there so it's always occupied so unless you leave that point there open as long as it's going straight not so we can't divert. It will divert it there, if that makes sense.
I'll just show you quickly. I don't want to change in the point of oh yeah, there's a train coming, I'll wait till that passes. I like watching trains, isn't it? Now make sure when you're setting these up you have it on the right track, facing the right direction. Yeah. Switch the points. So we've got the red covering the whole length of the track so it goes past where the steam trains are parked so that line is now all ways occupied and same with the other signal you switch the points using the other signal you save this one obviously apply it and then you would open the other signal by pressing Q and cover the left hand track or the right hand track whichever at the end so both tracks are always occupied so you switch the points I've left them points op open so that we're going onto the fiddle yard, uh, the sidings. As a train come through, it would show red, and because there's lines unoccupied that it can divert to, it would change the points automatically. Absolutely brilliant the way it works. It'll take a bit of fiddling to you, you get it to do what you want to do. It's got its limitations, as I found out. But, I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. And if one hasn't got this game, I would highly recommend it. £15-ish. All your download maps, your mods, people doing for free. There's no charge. They make mods of cracking trains. And a big thank you can go out to these people who make the mods, because it must take a lot of time. I was going to end the video there, but I decided to go on Google Earth and do a quick fly over Earlstown Junction, the bridges, the nine arches, and perhaps go street, whatever they call it, you know, when you click the little man and drop him, so you can see a few of the shops and compare it to the layout of them. We start off at the Nine Arch Bridge built by the Stevensons, George or Robert, I don't know which did what. One built trains, one built the railway. There's the bridge to replace the old bridge. It's too weak for lorries to go over. Earlstown Station, platform one, two, and three. The junction itself, platforms four and five there. Field, Catherine Way Field. See King's Way over the other side of the line. That's Catherine Way. I want to build part of it. It's not easy to control Google Earth on uh, on a PC. It's not easy on my phone app. We fly over Catherine Way there. Over Bradley Road Bridge to King's Way, which is all on the. Uh, model we built. Back to the junction. I think we'll drop the little man down so you can see some of the shops. Here we go. There's the dance club or dance whatever it's called. This used to be a GP surgery, the one I actually used to go to. China Dragon, which is now just called Dragon, I think. Through the shops there. High Spirits. Little off license. I like this 3D option when you on the map itself. Gives you a slightly better view of it. 
Let's drop the man down again. On the station this time. to control this. There's the old station on Earlstown, the old station building. Oh, gone too far, gone way past Newton Station. it used to be known Newton Bridge Station. See so all that car park there and then works have gone. And garages and stuff. They put a uh, ticket office and things like that there. If you drop this little map you'll see it's uh, more up to date. There's a view of Mill Lane on the viaducts again. As you can see when you go street view, you can see the new ticket office and where the lifts are. When you go back to the map, the old car park appears. Now we just have a platform view of the old station building. built all these new, newer sections. That building area on the right, I'm not sure when that was built, but I haven't built that in. Just left it with the old station building. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting and I'll see you on the next one.